<laughs> you guys, this is the famous Wonder Boom. This is Robin and Eric and their shuttle bus that they built out themselves. So today we're lucky enough to get a tour of their rig, but we're also gonna find out how they started this life and what they think about it, what they've learned and what their plan is for the future. might know Wonder Boom the channel I'm going to link my favorite videos for them down below mm -hmm. because they build out schoolies and if you guys don't know how to build out your own space or you need some ideas believe me this is the channel this guy just built a custom desk for me where he moved out my dinette you guys may have seen that video and built a custom desk I'm really curious how you guys ended up in a shuttle bus on the road what's your story mm -hmm. I think it started with us when we went to Europe in 2015. We went to France and Spain, and um, it was our first European trip. It was the first time I was really out of the country except for Canada. And we just, um, we just saw something different there, a different way of life, a different way of thinking about things. It wasn't just work your ass off for 50 years and then like hope you don't die when you retire kind of thing. And it's like it just it felt different to us. Like, like enjoy the pleasures or the moments. Right. And so we wanted to do that more and we thought, you only have you know, so much time, you don't really know what, how much time you have, so exactly. you have to figure out what's more important for you. For us, it was, the money wasn't the, the important thing if we could figure out just to make enough to have the life that we wanted. And when we st started to see people doing this on YouTube, um, that changed everything. It changed our whole perspective. Yeah. How about you, Eric? What do you think? Yeah, no, I was feeling, I, I've been doing construction for 30 years and, you know, breaking my back and my knees and everything, and it was time for a change, and we, yeah, we started looking at maybe buying a little land somewhere and putting a little tiny house on it somewhere, and so um, went down the, you know, looking at YouTube videos and uh, saw, saw people doing schoolies and buses and vans and stuff, and we're thinking, well, hell, why don't we make a tiny house we can take with us to all these beautiful places instead of having you know one piece of land somewhere you're stuck with you know we mm -hmm. can uh, we can go around and see gorgeous places like this and uh, enjoy yeah you know all the incredible beauty of this country and the everywhere has to offer so. so is this your first rig yes yes and what is it this is our 2005 Ford E350 Super Duty uh, van is the, the is the uh, the chassis of it, right. um, but it's a, it was a, a shuttle bus uh, like a senior care home shuttle bus at one time, and uh, we bought it for the low price of thirteen thousand uh, dollars or three thousand dollars. Oh my God, thirteen thousand! Thirteen like, thousand dollars. <laughs> no, th those were the prices of the Sprinters we were looking at yes. because that's what we were thinking of doing in the beginning. Yeah, mm -hmm. but, we were looking um, at Sprinters and they were way too expensive, and so uh, we changed our. Yeah, sorry about that. Three thousand dollars. Three thousand dollars. So we changed our our thinking dramatically, and uh, this one popped up on uh, the Craigslist in the Chicago area. We bought it, kind of randomly quickly and were you uh, in the chicago area we were from yeah. madison wisconsin uh for 25 plus years uh hanging out madison in the area. cold of the midwest which we are not missing at all you know again i started watching all the videos saw bob wells saw all the different people out there doing this and it really just saw you yeah you and what? uh well, so, and, yeah yeah so many other people I mean, doing of course. this by the way can i just stop here and tell you guys to go to wonder boom i mean like stop this video go over to one then come back <laughs> go over and look at their channel trailer, the funniest tr channel trailer I've ever seen in my life. I said I sent it to everybody I knew when I saw it. Okay, uh, go, nice on. Well, Thank go on. You. Thank yeah. you very much. Well, yeah. So, okay, so you in bought this. <laughs> and then, when, how long did it take you to build this out? And it, I know you have um, videos. He has videos showing the entire build out, yep, you guys. Yeah, we got the whole process on our channel. Um, it took a little over three months. Um, it was... Uh, I did construction and carpentry, so you know, probably quicker than most people could do it in, in you know, uh, typical situations. But plus, we um, had plus, all the wood. Yeah, we luckily all I had the found wood. the beautiful. Yeah, we had, we had cedar, carried that wood around with us. Yeah, cedar and walnut that I had from auctions from years and years earlier that we toted around with us forever. Uh, that we, amazingly enough, had a place to use. So uh, saved a ton on that. So um, that was huge. How much did you pay for that? We paid three thousand dollars. Three thousand. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Three thousand dollars. Okay. Not Thank 13. you. And, and it is a rust bucket, by the way. It is. It's yes. from Illinois. So I would, and I would, we would, we would tell people Southwest. Yeah, buy in the um, in Arizona well, or yeah somewhere dry. Not, up, and not where there's yeah. been snow because of all the salt. Yeah, if you're looking for so a rig, find what happens one in, in, the, in the up in the Midwest or anywhere there's salt where they use um, where it's cold where they use salt on the roads, it, there's much more corrosion. If somebody wanted to get something like this, mm -hmm. 
how much do you think they'd have to spend in materials if they had not been collecting wood? Right. If, for if a basic someone, build. Yeah. I mean, well, to to do it in the in the same fancy cedar and walnut that we have, mm, it would really be expensive. quite a few thousands of dollars of materials. So. Yeah. Um, but if you wanted to, you know, many people use recycled wood of different kinds. Oh, yeah. You know, different pallet wood or whatever. You can do any of this stuff. You know, in a, in a more economical way. You know, so. It's more about what is the what the space works for you, what you know, what you're going to be doing in the in your living space, and what it you know what what makes sense for you. Yeah. Find the budget and the material that works for you. It was lucky for us that we had that wood. I mean, it's it was just something that you know. I literally would like when we moved from our house to an apartment. I'm like, well, what what are we going to do with that? <laughs> why why is that coming with us? You know, I mean, I, I question it because like like most people would. It's like, but he was lucky he could put it in the shop at work. And so I didn't have to see it again, you know. But then, you know, you're like, oh, you know, thank God that I, you know, I didn't make we're, her get away. We're going to see it here in a second, but yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah. So it took three months to build it out, and then you hit the road. How long have you been on the road? A uh, little over a year and a half, almost a year almost and a half. Almost 18 months. Yeah. Ago. And yeah. full time? Yep, yes. Full time. How do you like it? Oh, it sucks. <laughs> 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 we're going to go back to a, you know, apartment and pay, I don't know, $5,000 a month or you know, 1500 right. whatever right. it is, Work for the man. Are. Yeah. Work for the man and just, right. you know, grind it out because that was so much more fun. Yeah, I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's challenges. We've been, we've had mishaps. We've dealt with stuff. We've, you know, it's not as if it's been like a, you know, ice cream cake, you know, kind of walk or whatever. I don't know if that meant nothing. <laughs> unicorns, anyway. unicorns. <laughs> no, yeah. unicorns farting out glitter. Right. But, uh, but the people that we have met. Right. <laughs> I know, come on. <laughs> this is the jobs that we have seen. We have to leave each other in two days. <laughs> well, we'll that see sucks. each other again. Okay. See, that's the thing. You, yeah, that's you the thing with nomads. Meet up, you yeah. leave. Everyone's cool, too. Right. I mean, I Most mean, I, in my experience. There's a few. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you have to go, it's time to go, and everyone's cool, yeah. and you see them oh, again yeah. when you can. And, and I, was, I was sad. Like, um, one of your friends left today, and I was sad that I didn't say goodbye to her. She leaves early. Yeah. If there's somebody out there that's about to hit the road, what mistake would you advise them not to make that you made? Um, get a rig that you don't have to deal with the engine. Make sure that you do a lot of research on the engine of your rig. We had to put four thousand dollars or more actually into this rig. If you think about how much we had to put into it total, yeah, six liter diesel. I it mean, still it still it's a takes a good us, engine, but yeah. it, it's uh, it, it can be a real pain in the ass. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. And how is the space for a couple? Fantastic. For, yeah, for us it's fine. For okay. some people they need more space. It just yeah. depends on your own personal you know preference. For us, yeah. we can sit right next to each other and just completely ignore that we're there. So that's beautiful. And if you can do that with your with your partner, a small space is good for you. That's good. It's perfect. Yeah. But you guys do also have a car. That's a new thing. Oh yeah. Right? And that's yeah. new, yeah, that we got that in October. Uh, yes. up in Reno. Yeah. But, but you don't um, you don't tow it, you drive it in tandem. We will be towing it. We were video. hoping to tow okay. it. But no, yes, we are planning to tow it and uh, it's a it's a manual so it should work. Gotcha. Hopefully. And then what's in the future for you guys? Um, what do you want? More traveling. This um, summer, we're going to go through Arizona, New Mexico, and then up the Rockies. Both of us have a lot of family in Colorado. Yeah. And um, I'm really excited. I love the desert. I, I didn't used to. I was talking to my sister the other day, and she still hates it. She's still a mountain person, and she, <laughs> you know, she, she lived in Flagstaff, Arizona. But um, I've really learned to love it out here. Me I've too. learned to love a lot about it. And... But then it's great because then the summer comes and you go to a completely different type yeah, of place. Yeah, it starts heating I up. I go to the forest yeah. and I'm like, oh, I'm yes. home. And then I come to the desert yeah. and I'm like, I'm home. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Well, yeah. we're, we're losing the light out here. We are. So um, is it okay if we go inside and get a tour of the, the Wonder Bus? Absolutely. The Wonder, the wonder, <laughs> the wonder, boom, wonder, wonder Bus? Yeah. We actually, yeah. yeah. Woo. Woo. Woo is the name Woo. of the bus? Yes. Yeah. Woo. We're going to go check out Woo. Yeah.
tell me about this wood. That is walnut. Gorgeous. Black walnut that I, we got at an auction uh, 20, 30 years ago, and it sat in a guy's garage for 30 years before that. You know, we, like 27 uh, yes, years we, ago. Uh, like it was an auction that this guy was having, and I found it and bought it for $55 for the, all of this plus twice as much more of this. And we dragged it around forever, and uh, Robin wondered why. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> this is what it turned out to be. So, hey, Robin. Yeah. Tell me about your really cute way that you hold your Berkey on the counter. Okay, so um, I saw it somewhere else, and then we went to a thrift store, and I was looking specifically for two belts, and I wanted them to be two different colors, but I wanted them to look the same. And the first place we looked, we found them, and they were exactly what I wanted. When I, when I need to take this off and clean it, I literally just undo the belts. They work perfectly, and um, and it stays there. It never has moved. It's It's been perfectly. And so when we did the sink, we designed it so that we would fit the Berkey here, so that we would have the sink to put, you know, to be able to get water and then be able to fill it. We wouldn't have been able to do that if it would have been over here or something like that. So, so for anybody who does is not on the road yet, the... The belts are keeping the Berkey from falling over while yes, they're in motion. While you're, while you're in motion. Because a lot yeah. of people put this in their sink. There's a lot of things. There's there's some people have their trays. Also, yeah. But I just saw this somewhere. I don't remember where. I'm sorry whoever did this and like I'm not giving you credit, but it's somebody somebody should get credit for that because it's I just thought it was a really good low tech but cool and kind of like not really steampunky, but I mean using, you know, I love use reusing materials, so that just worked really good. Well, it's for a us. small space, and you guys have really put a lot of personality in here. Yeah, and so, and we want it to feel like, um, you know, we want it to, to feel good if we had to spend days of rain or be stuck in this rig. It's like, I, I actually like being in here a little too much sometimes. <laughs> like, I know you're supposed to be outside, um, but I like it in here. I'm just going to stay here. So, you guys have a composting toilet. Yes. But no shower. No. How does that work out for you? So we shower at Planet Fitness or at truck stops or at other places. I mean, there's a lot of places with showers. There's laundry mats with showers um, in different places. And so, yeah, it, doesn't, it hasn't been an issue for us. But you have um, a sink, so you have water. Yeah. And well, we, yeah, we don't do you have, have a water, water tank? Heater. We have a 15-gallon fresh water tank. We have no water heater. So I just, like, heat a little bit of boiled water up to do the dishes. It's never been an issue with us. You know, to have all that, it just seems, um, it seemed excessive. I think I like to keep it as simple as possible. Yeah. And um, I'd rather go to a place that has a really nice shower with really hot water and be able to, like, stand in there and, like, really take a shower than have one of those that are, like, all, ah, uh, you know, uh, uh, okay, uh. <laughs> You know, it's like, okay, I'll just, I'll just wait a couple more days and go to the real one. And, and we've kind of, you know, put it into the budget. Yeah, we have the, um, the winter fridge on 400-pound drawer glides. The whole thing comes right out, and it's got the dual compressors. So one side can be the refrigerator. The other side is the freezer. And lots of storage space. We love it. And, and this runs off... 12 volt? Yep, runs off our 12 volt, totally off our solar. And we have a couple of just simple latches to do it, but we can also close it up like that and totally Beautiful. make it disappear. And then we have our cooktop here. Oh, genius. And that's where that just pops right up there and opens up. And it worked out nice again with the, this side. I don't know if you notice, this side's lower than this side because we needed to have room for the counter or for the, for the art. And so. Right. With it worked out perfect that now the uh, the cooktop fits right on the top and it's almost the same exact size height That's as the great. other side when with the cooktop. So. One of the most common complaints I hear from van people is that they have to go outside to cook, like uh -huh. when the weather's bad or it's windy. So right. you have an option. Yeah, yep. Which we, is great. Yep, we just use the simple little uh, uh, one gallon uh, little propane tank. So Robin came up with this uh, this simple paracord that is the real stretchy, flexible cord material. And uh, that holds the, the spice drawer for all of Robin's awesome cooking. <laughs> but uh, basically, you know, it just comes right down, stretches over, and keeps everything closed when the when we're driving down the road, and we don't have to worry about things flying open, and it's not some you know twenty dollar hardware we had to buy somewhere. It's just a simple string. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi. He, he, up on he you. snuck around. <laughs> he I does. thought it was somebody walking up to our campsite. Hi. Okay. So um, when you want to make it into a bed, you so this is just this a slide board. that comes out. Uh huh. And then when we're done, we just push it back in. It's usually 
something yeah, that slides out, and then these two, these two cushions fit. And then these cushions just go right in here. It's very quick and simple. We just put the cushions in. We actually leave our, our um, uh, sheet rolled up, attached to these two sides. So all we have to do is just pull it down and just attach it to those two sides, and it's much easier than like taking it off and doing the whole thing again. You know, the first time I saw this, the bed was out. Right. So I thought it was a permanent bed. This no. is a really great little group space. Yeah, yeah. Now, these people like board games, I happen yes. to know, so this is a good board game space. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah. Well, we should show you our the, the table. Yeah. Oh, we have a table, too. And tell me about the floor. Cork. Cork. Um, it's cushy. It's cushy. We like it. It's not that durable, but we don't really care that much. So okay, talk to me, Goose. All right. So in front of our beautiful Instagram doors <laughs> and our lovely. You need a girl out there in a bikini with a floppy hat. <laughs> Van life. The lagoon table leg. All right. So that slides right on there and tightens up a couple turns. And that's good. And this makes a table? Yep. Robin will show you. Nice. She'll hand the other part of it, which is redwood, a redwood bookcase that I salvaged. Gorgeous. Oh my She's gosh. With some of that Look same. Look at this thing. With some of the walnut that we had from the countertops around the, the, the edge of it to finish it out. I want you to redo my desk just like that. <laughs> Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. All if you right. Want, if you all insist. right. All right. One of the little tricks that we did. Let me slide it go off again. If you look at the back, see how it's not totally centered right in the middle both ways, which would be kind of your natural inclination to do it. But what it does is it makes it so it's actually more useful in different situations. See, what right now it's much, it's closer this way, but we spin it around, and it's a little further back and it goes farther out of the way. So it actually creates more opportunities to, to fit in different positions. It was a really lovely tour. That was amazing. Campfire stories <laughs> with, with Eric and Robin and Robin. Oh! The hook dam. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about you guys, but last night I woke up and there was a hook in my door. <gasps> oh, was it bloody? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Thanks, Wonder Boom, for the great tour. Check out their videos below. Everybody have happy travels. Yo. Happy free. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> <laughs>